Well, hello everyone. It is Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie coming to you live right here, right now in sunny South Florida. And have I got a treat for everybody involved. What you're looking at right now is the oldest ignition switch that Mr. Sunshine has yet to have come over uh, be shipped to him and have a key made. Uh, what you're looking at is a 1920s Rolls-Royce ignition switch. This is out of a Rolls-Royce Phantom, uh, an extremely rare Rolls-Royce. And uh, what we're looking at right here, Schrader, I want you to get a load of what's going on here, Schrader. I, you, pay attention, Schrader. This is very important to you right now. This is a 1920s Rolls-Royce phantom ignition switch uh, I got a call uh, this is actually probably the oldest Rolls-Royce ignition that I've come across uh, I got a call I do a lot of videos uh, on YouTube Instagram and uh, Facebook naturally and I post the pictures and the keys of the ignitions and the doors and the trunk locks of the classic Rolls-Royces so one of my clients um, in Washington State uh, called me last week and said, I have a 1920s Rolls-Royce ignition. I saw you did a 19, uh, it was like a 38 or 42, but uh, we have a 1920s. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a 25, 26, or 27. I wasn't sure what he told me, but it's in the 1920s. And I need a key made for it. I said, well, okay, ship it over. We will do it for you. Well, if you're looking at right here, all right, let's take a look at what you're looking at here. This is a Rolls Royce. I don't have a later model one here handy. I, I sold them all. But uh, what it does is the uh, key locks all of the handles down and locks the knobs down. All right. I went ahead and made the key. You put the key in it. You go ahead and turn the key around, pull the key out, and now you can release the switches to what needs to go off s and headlights, and stuff like that. Uh, it is a very intricate, look at that, right there. Rolls-Royce at its finest. This here actually is a knob that goes in and turns the thing. Now, on the back side, on the back side of a 1920 Rolls-Royce ignition, you can see all the wiring. You can see how it is. And as the years progressed in Rolls-Royce, the wiring became even more and more into the fact that the ignition switch was actually the central uh, ignition uh, electrical system of a Rolls Royce. Now, in comparison, if I even have one here, in comparison, when you're talking about Rolls Royce, uh, this is a Chrysler. This is a Chrysler ignition uh, out of a, uh, I think it's a night from the uh, mid 2000s. All right, a piece of pot metal. You can see the difference between Rolls Royce and Chrysler. As a matter of fact, I think I have an old Ford here laying here. As a matter of fact, yes, I do. If we're going to talk about old Fords, let's talk about Ford. Huh? Or no, this is an old GM. I have a Ford one over there. This is a GM pot metal ignition all right simple sidebar you got the keys you put it in it goes around but for all intents and purposes we're going to concentrate on what we got going on right here so what we did was went ahead and i fit the keys to fit this rolls royce beautiful uh piece it's actually a work of art uh rolls royce commissioned Yale. That's right. Yale. Uh, Linus Yale, the inventor of Rolls-Royce. Uh, they wanted Yale to come up with the keyways for their Rolls-Royces to make it harder for them to steal. So they're actually a close tolerance Yale pin tumbler lock. And as they produced the from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s uh, through Rolls-Royce until it got bought out by first Volkswagen and then it got bought out by BMW. So now BMW now owns uh, Rolls-Royce and uh, as a matter of fact, Volkswagen owns Bentley. So there it is. That's how it went. But the original in crew, C-R-E-W-E -E, in England, manufactured all of these and they had Yale 
do all the lock work. So we went ahead, we made the, the extremely rare keys. These keys, uh, if you can find them, uh, you're going to be paying a lot of money. You got to buy them in a pack of 10. I think they're like 10 or $15 a blank. If you're buying one or two, it might be, it's going to be a lot more. So uh, we were able to make the Rolls Royce key. There it is. Turns just like that. Pull it out. Locks everything back up. You can't move it. The knob here, you can see how the knob operates just like that. And it comes around and turns in there. So there it is, just like that. We're actually going to turn this back so that you can get the opportunity to see them switches in action just as they worked as Rolls-Royce did. Here's your knob. This knob switch just goes right there like that. Back up, back out, and like that. Now there's a couple of ways. Uh, Mr. Sunshine, I actually just impressioned the key. Uh, you take a blank, you uh, hit off about two thousandths of it, and by sticking it in and wiggling it around, we were able to, there's actually four pins, six depths, and the tolerances are so close. If you use in a file and you file one extra one, the key is shot. So you're going to look at about a $15 or $20 blank thrown out, all right, and you're going to keep moving. Now, also that came with it was a handle set. This handle set came off of that 1920s Rolls Royce. Uh, the, the, he had no key, so he didn't know. Uh, I was able to determine right away that the key for the ignition was not going to be the key for the door lock here. Uh, it, it looks like a standard T-handle lock set, but it's got a special key. We went ahead and we made the key for that. So as you can see, the key turns around. Uh, it's in the locking mechanism right now. But as you turn the key here, now it turns operating. So there it is, Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie. Uh, woo, has done it again. It is an actual treat to be able to work on a 1920s Rolls Royce ignition. And uh, again, with all of the intricate wiring, yeah, they're all marked. I'm sure when he took the wires apart, uh, he was able to determine, write them down, take pictures. And I told him that, take many pictures of your wiring. Take many pictures. You can see the posts that come out here. These little, everything, everything on Rolls Royce are machine screws. There's no uh, cheap plastic wood screws. Everything is done with machine screws. Everything's done with nuts and bolts, just like a fine uh, time watch, uh, Rolex, Patek Philippe, stuff like that. Uh, you're looking at a work of art from the 1920s, and uh, the, there's no code available. Noth none of the codes go back that far. I have them back to the 40s, uh, that I was able to be able to do previous ones, but uh, to be able to do this impression the way it is, uh, just like that, just second to none. So there it is, Rolls Royce 1920s Rolls Royce Phantom Ignition and Handle Set. So you got that opportunity to see it live right here today hope you enjoyed it mr sunshine it's been a long day i wasn't stopping until i got this baby done uh i'm i could polish this up clean it make it but i'm gonna leave it just the way i got it if the event he wants to keep it all original look at as only it can look that's the way it's going to be so there it is hope you enjoyed it if you have a classic rolls royce mr sunshine locksmith Eddie. 561-693-86. If you got a lockbox that you don't have the combination to, send it down to me. If you have a Rolls Royce, I specialize in uh, classic Ferrari, Lamborghini. I can do the old Porsches. All classic vehicles uh, can be done. Uh, Mr. Sunshine can do it for you. Pick up that phone and call me now. Watch my YouTube videos, Instagram, and again, yes, Facebook. Thank you for watching.